Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be making some DIY candles. Now, I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time, like ever. I just think it's something that I would really enjoy doing and you know what? I have tried out a few times making my own candles just to have a little experiment. But this is the first time that I'm going to be filming it today for a YouTube video. And yeah, I've just really, really wanted to try it out. But that is what today's video is going to be. So I really do hope you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok. And without further ado, let's get on into this video. So please just excuse the way I'm looking today. I really couldn't be bothered to do my makeup. So I've just literally got tan on my face and that is it. I am suffering with a few little blemishes on my chin. So I don't really want to be popping makeup on them um, if I don't have to. And today, yeah, I just really couldn't be bothered to put it on. So I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to do a video with no makeup because why not? <laughs> I'm going to show you the bits that I have for today's video. I have collected quite a few uh, bits and bobs for like my candle making and I have been shopping on Amazon quite a bit for different like candle molds and things like that so I will be showing you the things that I'm going to be using today including the wax and the wicks and everything. So the things that I have got to use are my wax so I have first off I have this wax which I have made a candle with before. Let me just go and get that candle and I'll show you. This is the wax I used last time and this is one of the candles that I made. The sun's now shining in, which is quite good to be fair for focusing and lighting. But yeah, so I did like kind of an ombre type of effect. So it's got like this pinky few top bubbles and then obviously this is just the cream wax. So the only thing with this wax that I found was it sunk in quite a lot so you had like little sink holes as you can see obviously it's on the bottom so it's not really big of a deal and then it also did frost a little bit inside here as you can see I think that is purely because this is the just a c3 soil soy wax I really need to get to know my waxes a little bit better but um, yeah, I bought this and I really do like this wax. It's so soft, it's so nice. I also did make two wax melts with it. So just this one here just looks like this. It's this nice pinky color as well. It's just like a 3D like dimensional heart and I think it's so cute. I have already melted one of these hearts and they just smell so, so good. Like both of them just smell so nice. They hold the fragrance really well. But yeah, so I was quite proud of this candle, to be honest. My first little proper bubble candle made with my soy wax. I did go on Amazon and I bought this wax here, which is soy, soya pillow wax pellets, because I've heard that pillow wax is really, really good for the bubble candles and also the body candles as well. So I thought I'm going to use this wax for the bubble and the body candles and then I'm going to use this wax for the wax melts I think because I don't think I'm going to have enough of the pillow wax for it and I'd rather use the pillow wax for obviously my bubbles and everything. That is the wax. Let me show you the moulds that I'm going to be using because you're probably confused as to which moulds I'm going to be using today. So I have first got a cactus mould, just looks like this. I think I want to do like a little cactus, I've never used this mould before so I'm hoping it will be okay. I think the only difficult thing with this is going to be the little stems at the side of like getting it out maybe. But obviously we can try, we can trial it. I have then also got two big bubble moulds and I also got a little bubble mould with it as well. So I've got these three bubble moulds to do. I then have two body candles. These are two lady bodies, so I'm really excited for these. And then the last things that I'm probably going to try making today are some wax melts. So I got these off of Wish as well. So these are just the Love Heart shaped wax moulds. I think these are more for ice actually, I'm not sure. But obviously they make these really cute wax melts that just look like this so yeah they are all my molds that i'm gonna try and do all of today all right what oh 
Oh, okay. What do you want? Hmm? <laughs> One minute, let her out. The next things that I have are two jugs. I really need to get a glass jug. I really want one of the Pyrex ones, I think they're called. This is what I got in my little candle making kit, which is just here, which I got from Wish. Also have some of these little wick holders, just look like this. A little spatula to stir the wax. We've got some wax coated wicks here in this bag. And then I also have this thread wick as well and then we also have all of these fragrances i also have this one here as well and i think that is about it oh i do also have a thermometer this is really good really handy because on your wax it will tell you like what temperature to like the melting point and the pouring point to each wax because every wax is different like i say again please don't judge on like how i do things obviously it's all trial and error this is only my third time making candles and it's my first time making this big of a batch of candles last things that i have to show you are the colors that i'm gonna be trying out so i've got the mika powder which i've read is hit and miss Sometimes I think that also depends on like what wax you use then I have also got these 18 color candle dye like chips So basically I have planned out what I want to do So I've just wrote it on this little bit of paper here So for the two big bubble candles which are here I want to do one ombre and one pastel like purple Small bubble candle I want to do like a pastel blue and then the body candles I want to do one brown and I want to do one cream which I just think will look really really nice and then in those candles I want to do the vanilla scent and then my wax melts which are just going to be in these ones I'm gonna just wing it with the colour I'll probably use the Mika powders for those I've got quite a few scents to choose from obviously I'm not going to be using them all because that would just be way too difficult but yeah we are going to get making these candles and obviously I'm really excited to see how they turn out the thing that actually takes the longest amount of time is prepping the candles that I felt for you when you had my heart as fast as the sea of my molds are prepped so i've got both of my body candles i have got my other thing here i decided in the end to take these off of these because these have got the wax wicks in them i can just steady them myself or maybe get some chopsticks or something to pop them in the middle of the wax whereas this is just the string so i want this to be centered more i've got my cactus mold here with the string wick in as well and then obviously my little bubble mold so my wax is now all melted as you can see so i'm gonna quickly take the temperature of it so I know when to add my fragrance. So it's already at 72.6, so I know that it's plenty hot enough. So I'm gonna take this off of the boiler, like so, and pop it on a different hob, just so then it can cool down. And actually, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna get my jug, and I'm actually gonna melt some more wax in this jug. I need it to get to about 65 to add in the fragrance. And then obviously we can then wait for it to cool down a little bit more to then pour it. So I am now going to add the fragrance. I just add a few little drops to this. And just hope for the best basically. It doesn't really pour that well. And give it a good mix. 
really really mix it in fingers crossed this wax actually works better than my other one obviously i don't know because i've never used this wax before but if it does then i'll definitely buy it again then the pouring point of this wax needs to be at 50 to 55 degrees so i'm just going to transfer this wax into my jug so then i've got a better way of pouring smells literally so so good it is my wax in there so i just need to keep taking the temperature of this wax and then once it gets to 50 to 55 degrees we can then pour it into our mold so here is my body candle and here is my wax the wax is now at 53 degrees so it is between 50 and 55 and ready for me to pour so i'm going to pour this into the body mold my first body mold and yeah let's see how it goes so the trick to doing this is just pouring very very slowly so then you don't get any air bubbles or anything like that so I'm just gonna pour very very slowly none of them can shine as bright as you do they can't compare and pour it right to the top thousands of miles between still couldn't stop us scrape in the contents that was left over in this jug of wax and putting it back to melt again because obviously I don't want to be wasting any wax. So this one here is at the perfect temperature. It's just at over 50 degrees. So I need to be quick for this one. Um, I'm gonna add the watermelon scent to this. Just a few little drops. smells so good I also did want to add color to this one um, this is what I mean you just need to be so like quick to be doing stuff so I'm just gonna give this a good mix and then I might melt it just a little bit again just to the right temperature to add the color because obviously this is the one that we're gonna be making into a color so the colour that I'm going to be using out of my colour chip dyes is sky blue. It just looks like this. So this is what I'm going to be adding to that pot to get like a nice pastel blue colour. I think I'm probably going to use like that size of chip. None of them can shine as bright as you do. They can't compare to your life. So as you can see, this is the colour that it turned out to be. I don't know whether to add just a little bit more again to it or not. Just because I do want it to be quite vibrant. So maybe just a little bit more. Oh dear, I knew this would happen. But here is what it looks like inside. So I'm all ready to pour the small bubble candle. Here is the wax. How gorgeous is this colour by the way? So yeah, we're going to pour the bubble candle now and obviously same as always, just pour really, really slowly. It looks more like a green, but obviously it may turn blue. Obviously once it dries because you've got the cream of the wax. Oh, it's such a gorgeous colour. So just pour in really, really slowly right to the top so yeah i am now gonna melt this wax again and i'm gonna do the same color again for the cactus mold because it'll just be easier so my next body candle is ready to pour my wax is in this jug here as you can see so i have done a little bit extra so in hoping that I can fill some of this bubble candle up with it as well, fingers crossed, we'll see how much is left after this one. But yeah. Safe in your arms. Now you're all I need. It wasn't long before I knew that I 
And then I don't know what colour to do this colour. Maybe like a lighter brown. But yeah, that mould is now done. Here is what this mould is looking like. I'm going to unmould them tonight, by the way. This is what this one's looking like. Such a nice colour. So my wax for this is now ready. It's just in here. So let's pour this. So here are all of my candles, so I've done six. I have got a little bit of wax left in this jug if you can see that. So I am going to pour some in to this mould here. Like so and just do one of the wax melts. So, this is what everything is looking like so far. I did say I was gonna do some wax melts as well, but it is currently five to seven, and I've been down here since like three o'clock doing this, so I am gonna leave it at just these ones today. Obviously, I have just poured my pastel purple candle, which hopefully will turn out pastel purple. I am liking the color that it is. Obviously, it will set, oh, didn't mean to do that. It will set a, like, creamier color than that. So, hopefully, it will turn out, like, a really nice pastel purple color. Here is my brown lady body candle. It has sunken a little bit in there. I do think that's because I had to mix the soy pillow wax with just this normal soy wax. And that's why it's sunken that much like that. All of these candles I did make using the colour chips rather than the Mika powder chips. So... I am thinking of maybe making a wa another video just using the Mika powders. If you'd like to see that, then obviously let me know down below. But this is what they're looking like now. I'm going to let them set for a few more hours. Right, I think I can definitely unmold some now. I just wanted to do it before it gets dark. So I have got all of the candles here, all seven of them looking lovely. I'm absolutely loving these pastel colours. I don't think I'm going to be able to unmold this one just yet. As you can see, it has sunken quite a bit, which I'm a bit gutted about. But hopefully it doesn't affect, like, the outside design. So, yeah, let's do the little bubble first. Excuse this water. This is my cat's water. She doesn't drink water out of a water bowl like a normal cat does. She has to drink it out of a glass, so she has her own little cup here in my window. But, yeah, let's do this. This is my favourite sound. I think it's so satisfying. So this is the baby bubble. The colour of it is a like light pastel blue. And it's turned out perfectly. Just how I expected it to. Oh. Oh my god and it smells of watermelon. Oh my god. That is just perfect. Right, let's do the little wax melt now. This is the purple wax melt. Oh yeah, this one's definitely ready. Oh, it smells so good again. Here it is, the little purple love heart wax melt. Still warm actually, but it is ready. Like, it's not wet wax still. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be using for the wax melt. It smells really good. The colour is really cute. This is the colour that the bubble candle is going to be turned out like. And to be fair, it is a nice purple colour. And I think it goes really nice with blue mini bubble as well. Now for the daunting ones, which are the bodies. So let's have a go at doing this. I might need to fast forward this bit. It's gotten 
kinda crazy. Oh my god. There she is. Oh my god, that has turned out really well as well. This wax is definitely the right wax to use for sure. This one now. So let's have a go at unmoulding it. This is the one that's gone a little bit funny on the top, but let's have it a go anyway. Parts of me that were broken, well, that one was a little bit easier to um, unmould, but this one's got a few little imperfections, and I think this is purely because of the wax because I had to melt and um, mix the wax with this one because I was running out of the other pillow wax but this is what it looks like these are the two body candles together I'm very impressed to be honest for my first go so my camera cut off but it's charged up a little bit now so I'm gonna do the rest of the candles so I'm gonna do the bubble candles and the cactus mold um, I think I'm going to do this bubble candle first, so this is the ombre one. It smells so good. Uh, it's not really an ombre, it's just like three different colours because I did it the wrong way around. Oh my god, I love it. Look at that. This is definitely the best wax because there is hardly any frosting at all. But this is what it looks like. But yeah, what I should have done is the dark at the bottom, then this colour, and then this colour. I still love the way that that looks. It's not really an ombre candle, but it's just got three different colours in. And I absolutely love it. Oh, wasn't as hard as I thought. Oh my god, it's so cute. Let me just chop this bit off so it can stand up. Oh my god, that is adorable. Oh, you can't even see. That is adorable. Look at that. Oh, it's like speckledy. That's from where the colour hasn't thingied very well. But I actually kind of like the look of that. So it's like speckledy on the top. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. If it will focus. Let's chop the wick down. But yeah, you can see. Look how like the little speckles show on it. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. It looks quite cool. My heart was stolen. Parts of me that were broken. Found Yeah, that is it for today's video i really do hope you enjoyed please let me know down below which candle is your favorite i think my favorite has to be my mini bubble candle or my ombre big bubble candle i just love the bubble candles i just think they're gorgeous i am in love with every single candle though i'm super proud of my first body candles um, especially this one it's so so nice nevertheless I am super impressed with all of my candles that I've made in today's video it is currently nine o'clock so I have been doing this for the majority of the day um, it is a very lengthy like process but yeah anyway I'm super proud of all seven of these candles and I really do hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please let me know if there's any other candle videos you want me to do. I'll be sure to do them, like if there's any other moulds or anything, or if you'd like to see 
another one of these videos when I make them again then of course I will do one but yeah thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't already make sure you go follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok and yeah I will see you in my next video bye everyone